Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Vlogs. Tracy here, and uh, this is a chat video. So <clears throat> I haven't been here for a few days. Um, although I have been here because I recorded some, but I haven't actually physically been here recording. And um, so I stayed overnight at Paul and Victoria's and we went to, well, Paul was at work, but Victoria and I went to Harley's sports day and guess what? She forgot the, the chairs. She um, has been last year, so knew the value of a chair. And what did she do? Leave them by the back door. So, um, yeah, I sat down on the floor for a while. That's I'm not good with that. Not really good. So by the end of the day, my legs were not my own anymore. However, that didn't stop us from popping to Hobbycraft. Now, I had a voucher. I did have three vouchers. I had two that were £2.50 off and one that was £5 off if you spend 15 Well, that must have expired because it disappeared. <clears throat> and so I thought, oh, well, I can use the others. And as I got my basket and trundle it around. I didn't film outside or anything like that. It was a bit of a, um, I don't know, impromptu visit. Had I found yarn, I might have gone outside and done the quest thing, you know, but I didn't find any yarn. I was absolutely bitterly disappointed with all the yarn that they had. It was horrible. They had um, nice colours, nice solid colours, but it was the same, always the same. And so little of it as well. They used to have four aisles of yarn in our hobby craft at Maidstone. I used to, and that was front and back and ends. You used to go in and you would have four aisles, maybe three and a half. And then you get to the third, the fourth aisle would be sewing. And you'd get sewing boxes and crochet bags. Yeah, sorry, knitting bags, <laughs> wool bags. You know, you'd get books as well uh, how to crochet how to knit and that sort of stuff and so you'd get four aisles really because you'd have all the accessories you're lucky to get like two now like when i say two is like you're lucky to get one full aisle it's really bad in fact you you go down you've got yarn on one side yarn on the other so that is the equivalent of a full aisle and then you get to the end and round the corner, there is some absolutely, and I was going to say something poor, which rhymes with hiss. But it's just a saying. <laughs> I was going to say it and I'm thinking, oh, there you're online. So um, they had some cotton there, but it was awful. Absolutely awful. And macrame yarn. And then you go on the, ne the other side. I couldn't see anything that I wanted at all. I mean, it was awful. And then, um, tell a lie, there was another little piece, but it wasn't a full aisle, it was a little end. And um, I I did see some, um, I think it was, it was either their own or it was Sirdar. I think actually it was Sirdar. And um, they had some pretty colours, like they had a really nice teal. And then they had a variegated one that matched. You know, like I just did the swatches with the bamboo, uh, sorry, the Bambino prints and then the Bambino. Well, I almost bought their version, I guess. Um, but they were 50 gram balls. They were reasonable. And the blue had greys and kind of a tan rather than the colours that are in the Bambino. So I said, well, you know what, I could make a blanket out of this. So I piled in my basket about eight of each uh, or more. And then we started looking, because Victoria bakes, she does cakes. So we started looking at the cake stuff and we started looking at the crickets because they're quite fancy making mugs and hats and T-shirts and stuff. And she likes the idea of having one of those for her cakes. So, because um, you can make cake toppers, you know, not you can't make a cake in it. I guess you knew that really but uh, I'm just being silly I'm always being silly so yeah um and then I, and, I, and I looked in my bag my basket and I thought I actually want that at all do I buying this for the sake of it 
buying it to show you guys that's what i was doing i was buying yarn i thought i could make a blanket with that but don't really want to you know that's all i got to you know i mean i've got better yarn than that in my own shop i have far better far far better yarn in my own shop better colors and nicer and it was soft it was a beautiful soft. put it back just put it all back and we left the shop having purchased nothing at all they had B&M, didn't go in there. Their yarn is always the same. They never have anything new and it's always the same. So we left that shop um, and we went to the outlet. Now the outlet has shops that I usually cannot resist. They've, there's Kurt Geiger, there's Moda, um, Carvella, there's a guest shop. Um, there's loads, <laughs> loads and loads and loads of shops that are kind of, you know, right up my street anyway didn't buy a thing not one and I said to her you know I don't really want to spend money to be honest with you because I've been you know buying a lot lately and I've got things to pay for but you know when you go out with that attitude or you go out without any money you know you think you see everything you want and I really thought that was going to be the case and I saw a bag that I quite liked um but I didn't buy it and then I, in another shop I saw another bag <clears throat> but it was dearer than the other one and the other one was nicer but I didn't go back for the other one either didn't buy a thing not a thing <laughs> it's the first shopping trip that I've ever done where I bought nothing at all <laughs> went home unbelievable so yeah then um I said you know I'll leave early because I was hoping to avoid rush hour and, and i when I left, honestly, right, I thought I'm I'm going to try um, going along the motorway and the A249 and the M20 motorway. I thought I'm going to give it a try because I've not been along there for so long since I've been doing all these ridiculous roadworks. So I just usually go the back way. I mean, it's longer. So I thought I'm going to go that way. I'm just going to do it. So I, I figured as I was approaching the new roundabout, I would stay in the right hand lane because, you know, Maidstone is straight on. And that's the, head, the direction I was heading. And I know now that the road kind of splits. So you have to go left if you want to go to London. And straight on. There's only two lanes. So I took the lane that... Uh, I, there was no real signpost beforehand. So I took the lane that I would always take for Maidstone. And it took me all the way back. Well, I can't, it's all the way back to City Boy. I was like, no, you're joking. So I, I knew a few back ways. I managed to get back on the road. And so I thought, I'll keep your wits about you this time. So I have thought, well, you have to turn right then, obviously, which is coast bound. So when you get to turn right, it splits. And I thought, oh, there you go. So I, I was I was aware. And I thought, um, I need to make sure I'm, I do the right thing on the way home. Do, do I go the motorway or do I go the other way? I thought, oh no, I'll go, I'll go the motorway because the other way is all stop, start, stop, start all the time and you get slow people in front of you. And got on the road, got up a few like miles down the road, traffic jam, just stop. I had lorries in front of me, that's trucks by the way, if you're in other parts of the world that don't call them lorries. Trucks in front of me, trucks to the left of me, trucks behind me, I thought, oh, it's like boxed in by these giant vehicles and all I had to do was look at their ugly backsides and I thought oh you know I'm just gonna make some phone calls so I did I just sat there chatting <clears throat> and then thankfully we got going but I thought you know what I left early to avoid rush hour and now I'm gonna get in it as well and be in this but luckily whatever it was got cleared and off I went no traffic whatsoever got home really easy so that was cool yeah it was good and uh gary made made dinner so that was all right and we sat down and we watched england we thought you know we'll, we'll sit because he i know that gary had kind of missed me the night before but um so i, thought, I, I won't watch the football at pools i'll go home and watch it with gary because he's all on his own and i could have stayed could have stayed in fact, Harley wanted to know where I was because he was hoping I'd still be there. So that's quite sweet. But um, 
Anyway, I, I, <laughs> we're sitting there watching. I thought, oh, we're going to lose this. We're going to lose, full of confidence. But earlier on, I said, we are playing, like on, in the tournament, we're playing so poor, we'll win it. You know, that, <laughs> that's what I said right from the get-go, that we are playing so bad, we're going to win this tournament. And now we're in the final. It's like, what? And uh, we actually beat Holland. And uh, wow. But they do like to put us through the ringer, our team. Last game was decided on penalties. And we got through that. This one, we went behind, come back. I'm cold, actually. I've got my um, air con. It's a very hot and humid day. And I've been moaning because Gary keeps turning it off. And if I put it on, he gets a jumper. I'm like, it's not. It's not cold. What's the matter with you? It's like an oven. But I've had mine on and it is pretty nippy in here. <laughs> so I might have to go turn it off soon. But um, we were going to go to the cinema today, but I messed up. I did. I um, I kind of decided that I need to get my passport sorted out. And it's easier if you can find your old one. No idea where it is. Uh, all I know is I didn't throw it away, obviously. And um, <clears throat> do you think I can find it? I've looked in every single kind of bag. And I've got, I even looked through... All my, um, I've got bags with uh, knitting and crochet magazines in where I used to do those reviews. I do still do them from time to time, but I was getting so many of them. And um, I, I don't really know what to do with them all. I was going to go through them and just take out bits I wanted and throw them away. So that it, the pile that's m massive will kind of shrink. So that's my, I might do that one day. But while I was looking through those, I managed to find my patterns that I lost. Do you remember, if you've been with me for a while, you know I said that I had to take all my patterns out of stock on my website because I lost them. And everywhere I looked for them in the yarn van, high and low, and I couldn't find them. Well, that's because I put them in with my magazines. Go figure that. As I was scooping magazines together, maybe I just scooped it. But that's where they were anyway. But I didn't find the passport. So... I got in the house and it was then too late to go because Gary didn't want to go late. He didn't want to get in stuck in rush hour, which I can't blame him. And um, I think he said he's working tomorrow, so he didn't want to be out late anyway. Oh, maybe not. I can't remember now. Anyway. Yeah, that's right. It's his last day off tomorrow. And uh, can't be surely not. I don't know. Yes, it is. This is the last day of tomorrow. That's right. And um, so, I, and I've got to do postman. So he didn't want to go out after that. And uh, so it was to get back too late. That's that's the reason we're not going tomorrow. Anyway, so it was my mate, my mistake. I messed up. Otherwise, we'd have gone to the cinema. Never mind. Still didn't find it. I came in. I thought, okay, I'm going to look in these drawers. I haven't looked in these drawers. In here, I've got these pretty coloured drawers. I haven't looked in them for a long, long time. Could be in there. Not looked in the cupboard that used to be the my bedside cabinet, but it's now in here. It's like a little cupboard with drawers. Not in there either. Well, actually, it's not in the drawers. I haven't had the cupboards out. Guess what they're full of? Magazines. <laughs> What's on top? Magazines. Yeah, they're everywhere. So uh, that's, now you know why I'm not doing so many of those magazine reviews anymore. I just like could build a house out of those magazines. I tell you, I've got enough. So I haven't found it. I've looked in every bag, every holdall, every... Well, I haven't looked in every drawer, but every drawer that isn't full of clothing. Because I don't believe it'd be in there. Um, and I actually found I've got a couple of empty drawers. I was like, what? I've never filled these drawers with anything. So what? That's mental. I've got like never got any space, and there I am with empty drawers. Anyway, I have no idea where that passport's gonna be. So I'm gonna have to go around the the hard way to get one now. Not looking forward to that. Oh, let's do this before I forget. Hello, Grogi. So to, we had Phoenix Shand. It's Friday, so you know what that's gonna be, don't you? It is a double Grogu, but one of them is the back of his head. Oh, little Grogu. There he is. Oh, 
I do love a, I do love a Friday. I do love a Friday, although it's Thursday for me today. I do have a whole new reason to love Fridays. Double Grogu Day. Okay, so where am I up to? Let's get the specs. Try and look intelligent. Okay. Oh my goodness, I read the wrong word there. Um, oh, that's the hickey one. That says rope. I thought it said rape. I thought that's what, <laughs> supposed to be a joke. Um, my child recently offered me some parental advice. Oh no, that we did that one, didn't we? It's sad when your kid gets too big to put on your shoulders so you can pretend you're Khaleesi with a baby dragon. <laughs> what? Wow, this is a newish book then, really. <laughs> Do you remember seeing her with that dragon on the shoulder? <laughs> like a parrot, but it was a dragon. Game of Thrones, if you didn't, uh, if you didn't know, because not everybody watched it. Although, I mean, we're now watching House of the Dragon. I have to say it's really good. I actually think it's better. I do think it's better. Well, it's certainly better than the end of Game of Thrones, put it that way, because that was a pretty um, let down -y, wasn't it? It was a bit of a letdown. Remember this? The book of that? The book of that? Yep. Um, I might do another one, you know. I might do a solid... One where it's not a granny. Sounds a funny noise over there, then that threw me. I think it was my wall genie that kind of made a noise. Oh, so yeah. It was a lovely, um, we had a lovely sports day, apart from standing, but, um, and sitting on the floor, which wasn't great. But we didn't get any rain. We got these tiny little drops. So I took a, a coat, it took ages to find that as well. I was looking high and low for that and guess where that was? Gary's car. So I had to go and get it on the way out. I know. I hadn't seen it for a while. You haven't really, you know, needed to go out in it. So anyway, took it with me. And it was it was kind of mild. Um, then all of a sudden it got, the wind picked up and then you got a few spots of rain to put coat on. Um, when I didn't have the coat and if I sat on the floor, I sat on the coat. <laughs> so it was like, sun come out, coat come off. Sunglasses were on. This is how it went on. Um, but, you know, when Harley was due to do his bit, his little race, the sun come out. It was, uh, <laughs> but yeah, it was a very funny, changeable kind of day, but it didn't get much rain. You didn't really need the coat, but you didn't know if it was going to progress and, and become worse. But we were very lucky, very lucky with it. Oh, bless him. <laughs> little though some of them were so small <clears throat> anyway i'm gonna get off and upload this video and um i'm so happy i found my patterns but i just wish i just wish i'd found my passport because it would make life so much easier i found my pictures that it wouldn't let me use when i tried to do it online i'm going to give it another go anything but turn up there at the post office and have to take it all away and get someone to sign it charge me to sign it <sighs> anyway thanks for watching stay safe everyone because you know there's covid there's whooping cough goodness knows what's going on they're calling that the hundred is it hundred day cough or something stupid it's just called whooping cough it's got a name already don't need another one i'll see you soon bye for now